All right. Welcome to Thursday Zoom. I'm so glad you guys are here. I am Anna Hughes, your superstar director, and it is September 17th. We have a special guest joining us tonight. Samantha May will be sharing with us on Bizly in just a few short minutes. But before we get there, I thought it might be fun to do a little bit of recognition, maybe do a little game. So if you are just tuning in, you do need a piece of paper and a marker or a piece of paper and a pen. So go ahead and grab those. And while you're getting those, I'm just gonna do a little bit of recognition. Top sales group wide for directors. Uh, we've got Tammy Pope and Brittany DeWalt. So congratulations to them. Superstar consultants, top sales are go to Cassie Bosarge and Kelsey Reed so far this month. Star consultants, Aubrey Cushing, Angela Thompson. Lead consultants, Jessica Butler and Crystal Lincedo. Certified consultants, Tracy Sweeney and Alicia Liscombe. Essential consultant, Kendall Cox and Melinda Dennis. Congratulations, you guys are killing it with the sales this month. I'm like crazy proud of you. It's been fun because all of these great LTOs we have. I mean, you got to act fast. So nobody's wasting any time with that. And it sounds like a lot of people are, you know, going ahead and grabbing one extra because it's inevitable. As soon as it sells out, you got a customer who's like, oh, I really wanted one of those. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really loving what you guys are doing with your businesses Yay. this month. So keep doing what you're doing. So for a game, grab a piece of paper. Put it on your head. Take your marker or your pen. And draw Jack Skellington. Best, best drawing wins. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Anna, you should be taking pictures. I know, I should. I think I'm gonna. You guys are gonna absolutely hate me. <laughs> I'm just gonna tape I this right here. Rachel hey gave some help from her dog. <laughs> I'm just gonna tape this right here. For I gave us. up. It's just gonna be a, my dog. All right, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Let's decide. She's got the best one. <laughs> Oh, Jonathan's is pretty good. Vanessa's is pretty good. Oh, Kalesa. <laughs> Those are awesome. Wow. Jen. Jen looks like, like some sort of hedgehog or something. I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> what do you think? Alyssa, you get to pick the winner. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Look at Katie. So many. <laughs> I'm torn between Aubrey and Katie. Aubrey and Katie. Good job, guys. There's no prize. It was just for fun. <laughs> just to see if we can come up with it. So. Um, so we're going to wait on our guests for a little bit. But, uh, I have never used Visly. I'm super excited about learning about it tonight with you guys. But we do have a leader here who is very well versed in Visly. So I'm just going to let her kind of explain it to us, if you don't mind, Alyssa. What is Visly? Visly is amazing. Um, it is a program where you can set it up to link to Facebook groups and schedule parties out. Um, honestly, I'll give a big credit to me becoming director in April to Visley because I had multiple parties happening all the time at the same time and for my team as well. Um, I don't really know. Okay. I don't know what my business would look like without it at this point. Oh my gosh. I gotta, mm -hmm. I've got to implement this. Brittany, I know you're a huge fan of Visley, and you just had a big promotion. So could you share with us your experience with Visley or what, what Visley is for you? So I used to 
hate doing Facebook parties or online parties, period. And when I say hate, I hated them. My sales were never high because I didn't, I just, I can never remember to post in the group. And so basically a lot of my sales came from a lot of family, a lot of friends. And over time, I mean, you have to branch out. So Steph brought up Visly. I think it was Steph and Alyssa, they did a, a Zoom or something. But I started using it and right away it just changed everything. The uh, first month that I started using it, I went from probably 500 PRV if I was lucky to about, first month was 2,600. Um, last month I did over 4,000. And right now I have 15 parties going all from Visly. And there's no way I would ever be able to keep up with that doing it all by myself. So to me, Visly is a game changer. Yeah, I like it. And I love that. So last week we had a special guest that came on and talked about income producing activities. And one of the things she talked about was doing online parties for a means to raise her PRV. And she mentioned a, um, a video by Christina Stainbrook in which she was supplementing her online parties with party packs. And if you guys watched that, awesome. If you haven't, um, I'll make sure that I share the link for that in the event page for this chat. Um, but short story, it, it's just a package that you're mailing to some of the guests in your party. Um, and the host helps you choose those people or you can just ask who's super interested in getting those. Um, and she's making a set amount. And one of the things that they're all making is um, some testers because you know, the smelling does the selling. So she was just making some felt samples and I am the cheapest person. I mean, I'm such a cheapskate. So I take the felt samples and I legit cut them in half and then I dip them like three quarters of the way in wax because they don't need to warm this. They just need to be able to smell this. So you could totally do this with stickers too, but you need to be able to have people who are in your party um, smelling stuff. It, I mean, you can theoretically, you can do it without people smelling stuff, but the smelling doesn't sell in, right? So getting the smell under people's noses. So, um, we're still waiting, so I might as well do it now, but I have a pack of these. They are holiday shapes. There's snowmen and trees and snowflakes. There's a hundred of these in here. Um, this is what I use to make smelling samples. And if you stick around, I'm gonna give these away to one of you at the end of tonight's chat. So you may be the winner of this package. I'll just send it to you in the mail. Um, and she's here. Hi. Hi. I clicked the wrong Zoom link. I sent a picture and I was like, it says there's another meeting in progress. Oh, and I didn't read the about. I was like, oops, sorry. Yes, yeah, so. no, Vanessa did the same thing. And I was like, dang it. I totally screwed it up. So I'm so glad you here. You are here, you guys. Oh, this is Samantha May. She is a director. She is fantastic. And she is gonna share with you guys all about Visley because she's the pro. She's the she's the real deal. I'm gonna let you like tell your own story, but um, I'm just so happy you're here. So awesome. thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. I was like, man, I like this is an honor because like you are awesome. So thank you for letting me hop in on the team. I'm like, ooh. Yay. Well, I'm happy to have you. I'm just going to let you do your thing. Okay, girlfriend. Okay. So will it, will it let me do a screen share? Um, uh, it says that host disabled. Can you, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to remember. How to do see. That. I'm going to spotlight you first. Ooh. Ooh, there you are. Oh, and recording. Then, we fancy. Let's see. Is there something? If you can figure there? it out, I can help you. Yeah, help me. Me and my sister have the same problem. So if you go down to the screen share, you're going to see, um, like, don't click on screen share, but you're going to see there's a little, a little button on the side of it. Yeah. Click oh. on that and go to the very bottom, the advanced settings. Okay. And then you're going to go and it's going to say allow um, only hosts to share or all participants. Oh, got it. Click that and then exit out. Did it work? 
Yes. Okay. Awesome. And I just got cracked up that somebody said they wanted to listen to me talk. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. So here we are. We are going to share. So, um, so I am a director in Alabama, which I'm sure y'all picked up on that. Um, and so I started using Visly uh, several months back and I use it for different things. So um, I'm just going to kind of share the overview because a big part is for scent events, but also for new team launch events. And I utilize it. The biggest thing that I want it for besides parties was to do it for um, team training because as you start getting all of the people right, it's hard to keep up with who you've told. And I tried the paper checklist. I just wasn't great at it. And so I had to find something that worked. So the first part is I'll show on, um, I do do the paid version because it, so it allows you, it's $10 a month is the one that I do for the 500 credits. You can do unlimited, um, groups that you can track and you can build your templates and then also I'll show you how the credits play into um, that phone and text part as well. So in the templates um, and where I started is there was another leader who shared her template and then kind of tweaked it based off of um, what she shared um, and different things like that. So I have a launch party template for that is geared for new consultants when they need help and especially right now with everything going on that has been huge and especially when they're like I don't know how to do an online event or they've been to a million other company parties and we don't have that set up through Cincy that they can just log in and post so we have to do that ourselves. So I create a Facebook template um, for launch and then it's pretty much the same as online send event it just tweaks some wording. Um, but I'll preview these and show you guys. So with Visly on these templates where you see where it's highlighted, those are the pre-filled that you have to put it in. Um, and you can set those up easily so that you know if you need the consultant name or the host name or the party link. When you set up those fields, then I'll show you, um, I can do like a quick load and show you how that works, but then it does it wherever you need that. Um, so it basically, it tells us that we're gonna um, launch their sin event. Um, it helps them, this is for the launch party to start their business. And the trickiest part or the most time consuming part is once you load the template and then you have to change it every time the catalog changes, but it's setting these times. That was the most time consuming part, honestly, is that you have it set before in the time or after or right at the time. So that part is when you go to build these, prepare for a few hours and it sounds, you're like, oh, it's gonna take that time. But once you do it, you've got it saved and then you just have to redo it at the new catalog. So it is time consuming on the front end, but it makes life so much easier for at least six months. And then you do it again and then you're set for six months. So I'll take you through these. Um, so just tell them what it's based off of, you know, let them know that we're doing the event and I start these three days out. So it's not, um, I didn't have a lot of um, luck or a lot of, you know, just response having them for over a week or two weeks at a time. Everybody's got their different niche. So if your parties for two weeks work, do it. If it works for a week, do it. Mine, we just start three days out and we create it. Um, and just kind of roll from there because that just seems to work in my world, but you can tweak it however. Um, and some do, like I said, I've seen a lot lately that do like week long stuff. Um, so I just do the three days, sneak peeks. And like I said, it's spaced out over it, just a couple posts a day. And then the day of it's a 30 minute launch. So every two minutes and then at the end, it gets down to every minute. So I post about new products as I get my stuff in and take new pictures because um, this launch I haven't um, done. They've either done their own. Um, I've had some go-getters that are like, no, I've got it. So I haven't uploaded my new pictures to these yet, to the real life pictures. Um, doing the countdown. This one, I don't know why it's showing. So here's the two days. Let's try this. And then always doing about me so they know that who they are 
shopping with. Um, so that they can tell about what's going on. It talks about my Cincy story um, and show all about personalized picks. I think that's helps because then they know they're a little bit more familiar with me. They know why I do it. Um, my love is for nonprofits in St. Jude. I used to work for St. Jude. So that is just something like I did, you know, fundraisers, that's just a big piece. And so I try to convey that so it's authentic and they know this is, what's happening and of course for a launch I still do that for me but then I also try to change it and to add the picture this first post about the launch event this is where I'm going to post the new consultants picture or the host picture I will go in and add that each time so I don't have Susie's picture pop up every event but I go in and I add their picture to personalize it so they know this is who they're shopping with or this is the new consultant they're supporting um, and then I tell them about me um, new catalog warmer. I picked a little church, so I've got to add, like I said, in this one, I've got to add my personalized pictures. One more day. Go through the cause warmer. This one, my mom's a breast cancer survivor, so I immediately like threw her in there and am able to talk about it. And so the more that you can relate to this stuff um, and adding it, and so of course throwing that in there so they know that is a personal mission to me. So I'm on a personal mission, this catalog, to really sell these warmers because um, it means something a little bit more. And then the day of the party, there is, um, you can see on the times that it starts that morning um, and then it's kind of spaced out throughout the day so it's not so back to back in, in the first part of the day until we get into the party time. Um, but so going over, having that reminder, cause we all forget. And so we know if they selected going in Facebook or on the group that they're gonna get that reminder. Um, so making sure that they're reminded early on, hey, this is the time you're gonna see it, check it out. Um, this one was a great post to that if they're not familiar with Cincy, because we know there's still people who don't know what Cincy is, which is crazy but then they can go watch it. They can learn about it if they want to take that initiative. Um, one hour two, sharing about the company even more, um, which I liked because it, there has been some parties I got invited to and I d wasn't familiar with the product. And I was like, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is activewear. Oh, okay. Like what, like, what are we doing? Cause I'd see the name and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. And so this way that they're seeing the things and you could do it several days out if you wanted to flip flop it, but really getting kind of that day of into a five minute warning because you know they're still going to forget or they've got kids, family, whatever. And then we start and in that post, um, this one, the post for today is the day is telling them that there might be a drawing for people on time. So you're trying that day to get them in because on the first post, the first one to comment is going to check when they check into the party. I'm going to send them um, a prize and it's usually I just pop a scent circle in the mail because I can put a stamp on it and send it. Um, and of course you can do whatever. It doesn't say I leave it vague so that you're not committed because it's what you have in stock and which I don't think I've ever ran out in circles, but shall that day come, you can throw something else in there. So you're not committed to something like that. Um, the entries, it's something that I just keep up with either like a sheet of paper, just in my happy planner, because that's how I track my systems. Um, or I can do it on a spreadsheet like a Google Doc. Um, but I keep up with entries. If I send them pouch parties to go along with this, I make sure that they keep up with their entries. But for online, if there's no party packs given, then they're gonna do this. Um, hey, sorry, my son came in. Um, each post that we're doing, they have to comment and there's, I do a grim prize if they order, and if they comment on all, on all of the posts, and I go back and check it, then they are entered for the grand prize. You can comment on all of them, but you're still not getting the grand prize on my end unless you order something. Um, so each thing they have to comment for the entry. And so if they tell me what their look is, um, especially if they say, oh my gosh, I, you know, I love a country rustic. Oh, do you love cows? Have you seen that Deja Mu like that? You know, and just commenting with them 
recommending stuff as they comment. And it may not be in live time because it is, sometimes there are multiple parties going on at the same time and I'm checking it, but within that party window or that night, like I'm commenting and I tell the host, cause they always say, well, what do I do? Like you, you know, if, if I don't have to do anything, what do I do? I'm like, you comment and you interact, get them to keep getting that interaction going. So get them to tell me their style because as they comment, you're finding out about them as well. So then that helps you better recommend products. Um, so we talk about wax. I love to find out their favorite scents. Usually it's not a current scent. It's always something from the past. Um, and you're trying to recommend, well, if you love, you know, pink haze and sugar, then you should try Cloudberry Dreams or you should try, you know, and just trying to find something in that realm of what they like. We're recording and you're in a pull-up. <laughs> go. Go. I'm sorry. Um, so we talk about the warmers, if they are with the scents, and then, like I said, trying to max, um, match them with what they want. Um, if they, like I said, if they're naming all old scents, I'm trying to refer them to a new scent, something that to pair up to get them thinking about, oh, that's not available, but we have this and I really think you would like it. All right, so we talk about the clean. This is a great video um, since he's YouTube. It's like a quick, like little minute over about the cleaning products. Um, asking them what they add to their car and usually it's counter clean um, every now and then it's like hey I need to try it but you see the favorites and so then able to talk to it a little bit more. Diffusers this is always an interesting one because I've learned like what I've seen throughout is there's not a whole lot of people in my room lately doing these that are real familiar with diffusers so that's been a prime spot to really optimize on oils or um, just anything in that realm that if I say, oh, let me, you know, because some will say, do you have one that you can show like the last questions? And so I'll get into that, what I do afterwards. But this is a great space. Usually this post is where you see a lot that aren't familiar. Every now and then you get a young living rep in there that's like five, I love everything. And I'm like, okay, awesome. But usually there's not that many in there. Um, so it, that's been a good category to really follow up on and see who has interest in those as well. Um, body line, this is cool to see too. Um, their question is to find out what their favorite way of like kind of relaxing is. You're finding out more um, if they're, if they love going to the gym or, you know, ton is hot bath. I'm like, you have to try to soak or you need body wash, soak, and you need like the body cream, like you need the full package to take care of yourself. So it's a great way to pin those products. Um, wall fan and since he goes, um, ask them where they would use it. And usually, and that's a great follow-up tool of, okay, if I'm going to use it in the bathroom, hey, you know, when they're closing out their order or if they, you know, if they've got questions, you can really talk about it, show it, especially with the new light saying, hey, a child's room, um, really just finding out where they'd put it and then following up with them. Um, do you have a fragrance um, or a way to diffuse fragrance in that space? Um, do you need something? You know, do you have like one of those wonky outlets like I do that's right under a, a, the towel holder that you can't put wax in so you need a wall fan diffuser? Like, you know, and telling them, oh, look at mine. So this is why I use wall fans because who can actually put a towel there and use it or, you know, with a warmer, you know, you can't do that. I don't know why they do it. So I'm like wall fans save the bathroom and they're like, Oh, I didn't think about that. So it gets them as you can relate to it. It gets them thinking kiddos. If you have kiddos, use them, put them in there. Mine is, as you see, he's constantly up here and with me. So put them in there with his buddies. Um, I had a picture with a whole bunch of them for um, a buddy drive that we were doing because a buddy drive is how I promote to a director actually. So it was always um, kind of big because I double promoted um, when I started July of 2015 really didn't know what I was doing and then November of 16 I promoted and I double promoted from star to director that month and then I promoted Superstar. I was like, oh, cool. And then like we, within five days, we sold like 38, like almost 
5,000. And like in the last three days, it was like 3,800. And like I collected buddies for a buddy drive. And so I feel like it was kind of by accident. And so I've still been a director because I'm trying to figure out. So in the last year, we've really been pushing. So buddies, it's always like, I just always give up buddies because I'm like, that's how I promoted and didn't really kind of mean to, but it worked. So Buddy drives are always huge in our area, doing for local children's hospital, and we have a St. Jude affiliate clinic. So I did a buddy clip drive last time. So if you're not thinking about those things, put those on your radar for the fall. But get them to comment about their kiddos, what's their favorite character, and then I can go back and comment because when they say, "Oh, they love superheroes," and "Oh, did you know that we have the Hulk right now? And we have Spider Man. Did you see these warmers?" And he luckily has a very nice show showcase of superheroes in his room he has all four warmers the skyline painted everything so we start then I start commenting pictures did you see this did you see this look at this I'll do a tour of his room if it's clean and they're like oh I didn't know you had all that there you go so find ways to tie it in ask them what their kids like if they love you know Disney he said we've got them covered I'm like have you seen this have you seen this no it's usually rarely you get somebody who goes yeah I've seen this I mean, usually it's, no, I have it. And so then they're like, well, man, I really want that. So then we start getting thinking about their own wish list of products that they want. Um, unplugged, you know, going with the flowers. This is in our last house. I used to hang um, circles in the pantry because it smelled weird. And so, I'm, and I always tell them about that. I'm like, yeah, you can use it there because there's always an odd fragrance somewhere in a new house. So um, the favorite time of year is what they comment, and of course, you see all the different things, so you know if they love summer, if they love Christmas, if they, you know, especially right now, if they comment fall or holiday, hey, have you seen our harvest collection? Oh my goodness, our holiday collection comes out on the first, so if it's, you know, February, that doesn't help you out a whole lot in those areas, but right now is a great time that when you showcase that you can really get them into harvest and holiday collection. Um, and of course, you can add, like I said, there's more pictures, there's more real life photos I need to add to these, but anything that you can, and that always gets a giggle, they're like, why do you have a circle in the pantry? I'm like, but it, it smells good now. So, get them going, and pets, everybody loves to post their pets, especially if they don't have kiddos, they usually have a fur baby, so now is their time that they get to showcase them. Um, and I had a picture of mine in here, and I, I may have accidentally deleted it when I fixed it, so... They post a picture of the pets, they love it. Um, several still don't know that we have pet products. And so it's always fun for them to see that. Um, and then it's, you know, oh, well mine, I don't need to tangler. Mine's a short haired, well, oh, hey, all of them stink. So this is what you need kind of. And you can, oh, how cute. I always like or heart like every comment um, in there but they love showing pets. So that's important too, because you don't want to leave somebody out if they don't have kiddos. Um, clean and laundry. These are fun. Um, people usually, like I said, usually whiffs that they're commenting that they want to try. Um, in their party packs, usually if I'm sending them, um, that's just something new that I've started to do to enhance it. And they've been getting um, the washer with sample in there so that's been fun because we'll have to you know i'll tell them hey try this out before the party because then they can comment um and let us know how they liked it but usually they want a scent boost so they say you know oh i'll try the dryer disc or you know and i tell them my favorite is washer whiffs but i really feel like you need to get the scents off in a dryer disc to get the full experience and they're like oh, okay so once again you can recommend things just based off of it to get them to comment um, I tell them about the subscriptions. I do my personal with box, but I don't promote it on here because I usually sometimes have to cap those based on um, time and depending on what I'm doing with them. Um, but really try to promote that, uh, the Cincy with box, talk about Cincy Club, let them to see the video on it and to find out what scent that they would always have available. Um, this was great during Bring Back My Bar because it was trying to really target those folks. Um, if it's not bring back my bar time, then you can um, just let them know if it's catalog changing or like season, then you kind of can promote club more, but it's still good just to find out, hey, if you absolutely love Eskimo Kiss and you cannot 
have it in, you know, you need it in July, then you need to go ahead and build your club and put it in there and always get it or promote that way. And then I tell them the bundles and saves. And so you see the interaction drop because they don't have to comment. So they kind of flip through, but it's just for their sake to see the bundles and save that they know what they can do. And then I catch them right here with the bonus entry part. Um, to let them know where they're at on the guide. I know the word party. I don't like to say that and because people kind of just roll their eyes because they get invited to every online party under the sun, especially right now. Um, so I call mine online scent events. Um, but this one still, this image was cute and it was easy to use that. And you know, you've got the hardcore party goers that want the free stuff that they see that and they're like, yes. Um, so it's interesting to find out if they do this. Um, I don't do it as required, you could, but I just kind of, I've played around to just see what response I would get from them. So, so far it's done okay that you kind of gauge people, you can see who's interested or whatnot. Join, always put something in about it. Um, these were just some images from the workstation. Um, the Cinderella castle will talk about it. Um, to, and this one though has seen more because to tell me where their dream vacation is, you really start to see them. And if it's anywhere that we've been with Cincy, I'm like, oh, we got to go there for, you know, we went to Spain, France, and Italy. And I'm like, gosh, it was amazing. Cause I tell them, I'm like, I would go back to Italy in a heartbeat, or we went to Hawaii for leadership, or we, you know, went to Punta Cana and now we're going back to Disney and all the things. So this is your opportunity if you've earned a trip to brag so that you can show them what possibilities there are. Now, if you've not earned a trip yet, that's okay because you can say, you know, I've not earned one yet, but this is where, you know, I'm hoping to go or this is where I want to go with Cincy or I'm trying to earn for Disney right now. So any, you know, any sin event that you host or any, you know, if you join my team, like, you know, we can do it together type deal. So you can really take advantage of that. So that one gets more than the, really the party poll because people love to say, oh my gosh, I would love to go to, you know, the Maldives. And I'm like, wouldn't we all? So <laughs> always do a thank you post, shout them out, and then let them know that it's, you know, the party links come in so that they can easily find it. So then, like, I just made something like this in Word Swag and get them to have their link so then they can go back um, to it and they can find it easily. Um, so that is the launch template, which is the same as the online template, um, a little bit more. When you create these, you can save them. You can share them with one another. Um, let me see if there is anything different. Mm -mm. Okay. So they're all, you can, like I said, you can fully customize them, add as much personalized photos as you can. Um, for sure. But when you, like I said, you can create it, you can share it with people. Um, with Visly, you can do referral codes. So if one signs up for the purchase, then they can share their code and domino effects. So for every two, you get um, a month free. You can do email templates and texting templates. But when you go to load it, you, um, Facebook change where you can't do events, but you can do groups. So you track the group and then you just upload the template in there. Sorry, my internet's slow. There we go. Um, so like this one, I just always make, I'm a big, like I love Pick Monkey. Everything I make is in Pick Monkey. So um, I just always do like some type of header in there. Um, so I just always make something like that, upload it. You have to go to Facebook, you create their group, you have to be an admin, um, and then you have to go to the group settings and you have to add, there's a place where you add an app and you have to add Visly so that you can post. If that is not turned on, you're not able to then upload the template. Um, but then I create this cover photo. This is what I'm putting in the Facebook group and that's why it populates here. Um, but then you just load a template 
and you know if there's ever an error with it posting it would be red it would show that it did not go through um, and then they you know swap over to green as they do it but you when you load it you set the date and the time that you you know want to set it up and you make sure you have your um, your time zone set because um, I have had a little bit if you do have a host in another time zone just make sure you alter it that's one thing that come up and we had some Eastern and Central people very confused one day. Um, so you just make sure that you have it set. Um, but so you go through, it loads, and then you, these text replacements that you set, um, which is easy because you're just putting that bracket, a space, whatever keyword that you want it to be with a space in another one of those brackets. So you just type those formats that way and then you choose what it is. So then you know, with the consultant, it was Ashley, and um, we entered her link here, and then the time, and then the date that we just read, and so it automatically then populates it into wherever you have that text replacement, and it's easy sailing there. So you just upload it, and you can turn, you can turn your post off, you, but, you know, when you load it, you'll set it on there. If for some reason you've uploaded something, something looked wonky, you could go through, you could delete them. Um, if for any reason somebody like you had to hurry up and post it, you know, two days out, if they were like, hey, you know, can I have one Saturday and it's Thursday and you're like, whoa, you know, what do I do? You can still upload that same template and then you can go in and delete before you load it. You can go ahead and delete them so that you don't have three days out when you're really two days out. Cause I don't know if y'all ever get those people, but sometimes they're like, Oh, can we just have like a party, you know, tomorrow? And I'm like, that's not how it works, but yes, we will try it if you're adamant. And sometimes they're like, we need, we just, we need to do it Sunday night. And I'm like, okay. So you load it and then you just take out whatever you don't need. Um, you can hurry them along. Um, and then let me see, let's see if I can, if you write, no, nope. hello. You can, obviously you can delete it there, um, but there, do you want me to go through and show how to load it? Do you want that much detail or? I mean, honestly, I, I am like totally green with any of this. And I know that there are a few people here who are familiar with Bisley, but um, for the sake of completeness, I, I'm going to share this video with my team. So okay. if it, if it doesn't take long, if you don't mind, that would be great. No. Okay. Is that that might be easier um, to see the things. Sorry, you're gonna see him pop up. Hey. Go. All right, so we are, trying to see, I've got my screen, okay. So we're gonna real quick, I do mine private. Some do theirs public. It's personal preference. I like it private. Um, some like it public so that it shows up on other people's wall. Um, I've never been huge on that. I just keep it to their people because, like, you need to be a VIP or you need to be in the group to see all the goods kind of mentality. But, I'm, you know, I can argue it both ways. I've, I see value in both. I just always do private. Yeah. All right, so here you're gonna to go to edit group settings once you create your Facebook group. Remember, you can't do it from an event page because Facebook changed it. So right here under apps, you're gonna do add apps. And this sometimes is, I don't know if it does it for everybody, but for me, it spins for a hot minute here. So we may hang out for a minute on this <laughs> part. This is the, I don't know if it's Facebook or what. No, I think that, oh, so one of the questions you got is how far in advance before the party do you set up your post and on average, how long does it take to set it up? I think that's what you're doing right now for us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's really not bad at all. The biggest 
time consumption is up front when you create your template. But once you have it, because I there was two nights that I kind of stayed up into the wee hours to really get the meat. And then I was looking kind of cross-eyed so I had to come back the next night with fresh eyes and some sleep to do it. I don't see, I don't, that's why I wonder, honestly, if anybody used it, if they ever have, but this, this part is what always stalls for a few minutes. And sometimes I have to go out and come back and it does this. So you just do basically, if you don't have this, if you skip this step and you go and you load your template and you do all the things, and then you go, oh my gosh, why, you know, it'll go red because it'll show that it's not connected. You'll get a notification. So I add Visly, you've added it to the group. So now that's when I go into Visly. Um, and, uh, go to groups and you have to track it. So then it's gonna pop up. I have a lot of groups. You can refresh it and you can do it instant. Um, you just have to remember to hit refresh. And so if you do the free version, they do give you a free version that you can only track two groups at a time. So if you have a bunch of people come on um, that or you want to do launch parties or if you are doing a book and blitz and you like do a weekend full of parties and you want to be able to track more than two groups. Um, all right, so you just click track group once you find it. You're gonna click track. All right, so up here in track groups, there it is. You just click open. It shows you that it's turned off. Um, so I'm gonna use a template. You could build it. Um, if there's anything, any other posts you need to add, you can do that. But I'm gonna use a template and I'm gonna select my fall 2020 event. All right, so we're doing this party. Um, what's the day? We're gonna do it Monday night at eight o'clock. Do I wanna keep the post? Yes, always keep them. Even if it's when you get those crazy ones that wanna do it like two days out or a day out, I always hit yes because then I manually go in and just delete what I want because then I, I may also hurry them. Um, so I load the template. Boom, there's all your posts. If, if I were needing to hurry it along, you can click on it and you can click hurry. You can delay it if you need it um, not to go out. You can delete it, um, schedule a comment. You can edit anything about that. So it's got all the things here that you can do. Um, and so if I wanted to go ahead and hurry this along, then I can, you just have to figure out, do you want to do about minutes, hours, days, that kind of thing. Um, you can just all the timing or you can just schedule it for the one that you want to change up or delay it, same thing. You can. Like I said, you can go in, you can adjust it how needed. So I love that fact too. If I wanna go in and add more pictures, cause then I'm gonna click this one and I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna add Susie's picture down here. Or if you're doing a fundraising um, thing, you could do like a group video or something. Um, I do for some, my big fundraiser that I've just been wrapping up is for a show choir, like a high school, middle school show choir that's anywhere about two to 300 kids, depending on what year it is. And so then if you want to upload a video clip of them, you can do that. Um, the theater group we do, we upload their photo. If, if there's going to be an online party that we want to do for them. Um, but I upload their image here and get that set. So I make sure that they know um, who they're supporting type deal. And if you need to tweak, you can tweak any of it in there. So then text replacements, it's going to say, hey, it's missing. So when you click on it, you know, it says your keywords, date and time. So if I'm doing Monday, September, I think it was the 21st is that date. So I save it. So now it's saved to all the posts that I've created that text replacement with. So then here, you know, fall sentiment. So who's the host? I want to say Sam's the host. Perfect. And it shows you when it says these, these are the names of the posts there. So it shows you, okay, so these are the five 
post that I have set that filter to for that replacement. Party link. Mom.com. And the party day. Um, for Tom, it's 8 p.m. And then I have Central Time built in because even if it is on Eastern that we adjusted it, I can go in and change that individual one if we need to. But I go ahead and put Central because if they invite somebody else that they know it's on our time zone. Um, so now that the text replacements, all of those have to be filled in and you've got it all set like you want it. And you turn it on. Hit continue and it's all set. So then on the 18th, so tomorrow at 10 a.m. is when that first one would post and then so on. And if I go in and I say, oh my gosh, I need to add this or, you know, I need to whatever. You can go in and adjust it at any time that you have it uploaded. You can adjust it as needed. You don't have to stop post or do anything and then it pops up green as it does post. So does anybody have any questions on that part of it? I'm just blown away at like how complete this really is and they make it so user friendly. Like it is. That it's is cool. really not bad. Yeah. It's and I'm telling you, you like I'm not lying when I say it's gonna take you time to sit and make your template, but once you've got it, I mean it's gold. There, I mean, I think back in the day, there was another program that I tried and it was, it's, it's, it's time consuming to make your, your actual campaign, your, your template. Um, but back then there was no scheduling your comments. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. That's pretty cool. Cause if you're forgetful or if it's just because, you know, if something comes up that it's like, oh, well, I've got this. I mean, I can literally party from anywhere and I can check in on it from anywhere. So if I'm, you know, at the ball field or like tonight, if you're at a hair appointment, like 10 hours longer than you expect, <laughs> I can pull it up and go. Um, then you can, and they don't have an app. That's the only thing. I wish they did have an app, but you just log in and they have like a mobile version ish kind of that you pull it up from the web like and it's not super mobile but you can still pull it up so i can if i need to adjust anything on the fly i can log in and do it but if not then i'm on facebook and i can comment and like from anywhere so even if you know i have ran it before and i have forgotten that you know because i had somebody else's or i'm like oh my gosh this came up and then it, and i'm like oh it's in the middle of the party will you still go back or you know everything is post so they don't know that you're not really on but if you go back and you interact as long as you're following up and doing that interaction with them then it's good because i always tell the host when they say what do i need to do i'm going to put you on there now if i'm at home what i found um some good success in is because I had a girl that which we ended up flipping her party but she said hey do you have um, a picture of the aloe vera one where you could post I was like I can do you one better than that because it was on my desk I was like so I just went on live after um the party ended I hopped on real quick and I was like oh my goodness thank you guys so much for joining us like we we're so excited that you're here for Julie's event but just wanted to you know if you had any questions I said I know you guys wanted to see this aloe vera warmer so I just did like this in detail. And of course, you know, I had it in a plot from TJ Maxx. Like, oh, where'd you get it? To their comment. And we're talking about TJ Maxx Hobby Lobby. And I was like, oh, well, let me take you to my, let me just show you my display real quick in my office. And I walked through, I've got, I don't have the nine cube. I don't have all that fanciness. I've got a shelf my daddy built me and it's cute and we've got it decorated. And so like, I just walked through and I'm like, I'm showing them this and that. And they're asking questions because then I got four or five on that tuned in and they're like, oh, well, how do you use the all purpose cleaner or how do you? And it was a great time because I caught them when they were on. We went live for about 20 minutes or so. So, yes, that did took extra time. But her party was like 692 or 642. And then I flipped it. I flipped the PRV to her and boom, she was shooting star that night. And she told me she didn't want to join that. She just enjoyed this. So, but she had such a good party. I'm like, do you realize this is what you're going to make if you did this? And then you've got shooting star and then you can purchase this kit. And it was just like, oh, awesome. Because she had a great response. And a lot of that too 
is they had some follow-up questions and then they got to see it in person or they caught me live asking, like I said, one was just like, what's the difference between all-purpose cleaner and your counter cleaner? And then we're talking about this and that. And I was like, oh, look over here. I had a warmer, which I've moved offices since, and I have my globe back there. I'm like, this is so cool. So you guys, when we went to Disney World, my first and second trip, went, you know, we got this room drop, and it's so cool. And here's my picture of Hawaii. You know, I was born in Hawaii. I'm a military brat. It was so cool because we got to go back. Oh, from leadership. Oh, here's my annual sales award. It's, oh, my gosh, it's so much fun. And they're like, oh, it seems like you have a lot of fun. I'm like, I do. And you got to walk around my office but I got to point out things and they're like you you went to Italy and I'm like yeah they're like how much cost I was like nothing like we even got money back on our taxes that year it was great and they're like what and I'm like yeah you should do it too and they're like oh my gosh and so if you don't have the big fancy cube shelf or you don't do like all the things like everybody else does do what works for you but yet you can still have this time after the Visley to hop on or you could do it the next day and post it or you could pre-record a video of just hey if you guys have any follow-up questions and you can schedule it to post because I thought about doing that was hey if I can't be live every time I could have a video of a quick little tour here's some things I want to point out y'all comment with any questions and then I can schedule it and upload it so that they still get a quick little virtual tour because the more they see and they ask questions and know the more that they purchase so when that happened, it was really awesome. So you can hop on or you can say, you know, save your questions or, you know, if you have some, but that's a little thing, that's a little tidbit that you can add that little video, do a quick tour or something, schedule it out or go live. Um, so that has had good success following this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be that night. It just, you do kind of capture them if they are on, if you have a lot of interaction going, then I would really play to that. And sometimes some, you're not catching them, but then you start seeing them the next day. When they're online, you start seeing that they're starting to comment because they're like, oh, if I comment every time I'm there to win. So you start seeing them more and more, and then you say, okay, then post your video or then go live to, hey, you know, do you guys have any questions? Let me know. So you can always still add to it, but at least you've got your base template set. Um, and especially if it's a launch party, you know, then I encourage, that new consultant to say hey you've seen me but I'm like you know of course they're always scared to death to go Facebook live and I'm like you need to go live in there and show them who you are and thank them and that goes a long way as well to actually hear them and them to see you because I try to hop on to each one live and be like oh my gosh thank you so much and if y'all have any questions let me know and then usually there's hey you know how you know what do we do on this or can we get this type deal so include it there's always ways to enhance it but you at least have the overview on that part um and so, then, are, so you're able to copy your your template over to your new consultants mm -hmm. so you can share and um let me i always have to remember i'm like where do i go um okay under templates facebook Okay, so, okay, right here, share. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. And y'all are welcome to use that one. Aww, thank you. I know how much time and energy you put in. I don't really know how much time and energy you put into that yet, <laughs> but I appreciate you sharing that. That is so very sweet of you. Caring is caring, and like I said, there was a girl that shared hers, and that's where a lot of the base come from. Um, so if you upload this, just make sure that you change like the about me and all that over. <laughs> I mean, you can share me, that's fine, but you probably don't want to do that. So just make sure, um, like I said, that about me and I think that's it. I think that's the biggest one. Check, double check the wording for sure, like go through and, and see them because hers were like that girl that, and I can't remember which leader it was, but it's been like a year or two since she had shared it, um, was the idea of um, the comment on every post uh -huh. to get entered. And I was like, that was a great like captive way to get them. And then like I said, well, as soon as you hit that bundle and save posts, like nobody comments or likes on it, you know, but that's more just informative. They see it. Um, cause I'm going to tell them if they always, 
you know, if they comment they want four bars or they say, hey, you know, I want to order four, I'm like, okay, you order five. Y'all know how to upsell them. So that I don't feel is as crucial, but you can, like I said, of course, tweak it because I'm constantly going in here and tweaking it because I'm already like saying like, oh yeah, I need to go in and add this and add this. But um, I've done some more virtual um, than Facebook where at the moment it goes back and forth. I did a lot of Facebook and now I haven't done as much that they just want strictly virtual. So it goes back and forth. So yeah, y'all free, uh, feel free to use that. And if, um, if you need it later on, just let me know. I'm happy to share with you guys. Um, well, that's nice. Cause then you can get your, your new people up and running with their own. Yes. Yeah. That and some get afraid to do it their self. Like they want to be more comfortable as to say, I'll do it. Um, just make sure if you're doing it for somebody and they go ahead and create their group, you have to be an admin to be able to upload it. Okay. Um, I see. So yeah. they just in that group setting, just make sure because I had one, you know, you get the ones that are super eager and it's great and they create it. So I'm just like, hey, add me as an admin. When you do, I'll upload it. So when I do the prep, just depending on when they tell me, you know, some people tell you a couple weeks or a month out, hey, I want to do a party then. And some tell you the week of, some might tell you the week before. And um, I've had different experience. Some hosts, they want it, especially if they've been in direct sales or self, I've noticed that they're like, oh, will you go ahead and set up my group? And I'm like, you know, we're still a couple weeks out, you know, and my rhythm is usually kind of like the week before, or if it's like Saturday night, by anywhere between that Saturday and Monday prior, I'm setting it up because I've not had a great experience with the longer running ones. But if you do, you can create it two weeks out. I've just not had a good experience. So I usually do it somewhere between a week to those, you know, that week of out, just so that it's fresh, it's on their mind, and they're like, oh, I have to wait two weeks and remember, because I feel like I don't remember, huh? yes, that, <laughs> always, um, <laughs> always, he's the only child, so, he, I know, he, mine's he, doing he, the same thing right now, like, Can I <laughs> yes, so, yeah, if you will go to sleep, yes, um, but so I do short term, like I said, it's all personal preference when to do it. I just like to kind of keep it fresh on their mind and roll with it. So because life happens, I'm not going to remember if somebody invites me three weeks out. So, um, that's like I said, all that's personal preference on there. Um, we have a question from Alyssa. She says, do you ever run into issues with the times being so close together? Mm -mm. I'm not because people, they don't want to be online long. So the way that, and I tell them, and that's in that, that sent event post is that it, and when I'm booking it with them, I tell them because they, everybody's had a different experience with, with depending on what company it is, what rep they have, that I tell them it's a 30 minute post party so that people are not committed to watch it all week long. They're not committed to an hour it is 30 minutes or less and they can go back. And that's, and even if they do go back, cause I'll tell them, you know, depending on to what their party amount is, you know, we may have to extend it a week or we may can close it out two days and they get all their orders in. And you, that's the great part is you can kind of like go with the flow on that. If they're getting their orders in, cut it off. If it's taking them a little while, hey, we're going to give you guys until, you know, if the party was Saturday, hey, we'll give you until Monday, let us know, Monday rolls around. Um, you know, sometimes they may say, oh, hey, we need it till we get paid on a Wednesday or we get paid on a Friday. And you can adjust it around that. Um, but they usually like that they're not having to commit to be on for a long time. And it goes so quick that no, so far, knock on wood, nobody has said, oh, hey, it's too much that they're like, oh my gosh, like it goes quick so they don't feel like they're online long. And then they're trying for a price. Once they've commented the first time, they're like, well, I'm going to comment until, because they want to win and they don't know what it is, but they want to win it. So they all want the free thing. So they're going to comment too. And that's when I say, you see them drop off. But we, I do finagle with the grand prize if they comment on everything, that's great, but you're not getting the grand prize if you've not ordered. And then I will draw, um, they do another prize. So we you get the first one to comment. And like I said, it's a scent circle. You pop in something that you can easily mail if they're not local. And then I do do a prize for all the ones who did comment, but they didn't order. 
I'm drawing a, a party prize from there. It can be a scent circle, scent pack, it can be a bar, room spray, um, whatever you want really. And then the grand prize, I pull, then they've commented on everything and they've placed an order. And so, but I don't tell them the difference in it because I'm like, oh, we're, you know, here's your prize for this. And then we did a probably, you know, a drawing for the party and then we did a drawing for the grand prize. But I mean, cause if somebody spends a hundred dollars in it versus somebody who didn't and they just come in because they're trying to get the free stuff, like that's why I do it in the separate ones. They still get all the samples, you know, but I'm really loving on those spenders and trying to get them then in, you know, when I thank them for their order, hey, would you like to be added to my VIP group or, um, you know, things like that. That opens up all the follow-up systems for it. But usually if they are local, then it kind of just, like I said, it may be car bar clips or car bar, room spray bar, something that you just, I always do a packaging because I'm always kind of extra on that, but I really feel like that's the stuff that really sets it apart. So even if it is just a bar as the prize, if it's in a little bag with some confetti or crinkle paper tied up with a bow, you put the samples, your marketing materials, oh my gosh, here's your prize. It looks better than like, here's your bar. Like, thanks for playing. You know, so you can jazz it up in that way so it feels more than whatever it is. Um, grand prizes, it has been um, mini warmers from the, the surprise, those grab bag boxes from SFR, and it'd be like some of those older ones. I was like, oh, I mean, and they were, they were cute. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, here you go, you got a mini warmer. And they're like, oh my gosh. And I was like, yay, it's out of my stock. <laughs> so it, 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 it works. So I just pull what I've got. If I've got a mini fan, I can throw a mini fan in there. If I've got, you know, you might do a three, you know, like right now, if you had an extra three, like the gourd, you know, pumpkin pack, like you could put those three bars in there as a grand prize or even just car bar clips can be like, don't feel like you have to spend money on that. Use what you've got. If you don't have anything, then use that perpetual party reward to order something. But I just always tell my girls, just pull with what you've got. Um, and on the launch party though, this is just my personal, like with my girls, I do their prizes for them because that's one thing that I've learned that they kind of stress about like, oh, what do I give them? What do I need to order? And I'm like, you don't need to order anything. I'm going to give you, and, and uh, like the last one was the scent circle for that, a room spray for the second one, and then a mini warmer. So I just pull, package it up, and I let them, I will pull off my labels and let them put their labels on it or put their labels over if they don't have something yet, then I try to encourage them to get labels um, if it's local. And then if they're not here, then like I said, I tried to find something easily that can ship. So it's still low cost and the grand prize, you know, that time might just be, you know, car bar clips or something. And so that's what, there's no commitment. And that's why I say leave it broad because you're not committed to what it is. Um, I think that's it on the Facebook part. Um, if I've got time, I'll show you how you can use it for text if you want to know how to use it for VIP and team. Um, or y'all may want to stop there because you Well, Alyssa there. had a question about um, about Facebook jail because she's had some teammates mm. who've ended up in jail for posting too much in a short amount of time. So how would you go about avoiding that? Um, or or have you, has that been an issue for you? Mm -mm, but I'm so afraid to say that because then I might end up in a knock on wood. I'm like, I haven't been in Facebook jail yet, but oh, I know I said it, so it's going to happen now, but. <laughs> it always works that way, right? <laughs> right. So when y'all see me tomorrow, I'm like, man, that girl's not saying nothing to us, and I got locked down. <laughs> y'all know. Um, it, I've had some that have raised it, like with other team members or other leaders that we've helped and got their stuff, and they've said it. Um, but I think what kind of keeps it different is as you're changing the host name and the time, like there are like those differential factors that you've changed in it. So I think that's what kind of helps keep it out of jail is because yes, there are some cookie cutter posts to it, but then groups, I don't, I don't know if groups has been an issue for Facebook jail or not. Um, like I said, I've been very fortunate to not land in it yet, but you've got all those posts that do differentiate because a lot of them, you have different start times, you have different days, you have different names, you have different party links. So, and if they're all associated with a bunch of these different posts, 
you, that group posting is different from another. So that's what I think helps is that when you have those different keywords and texture placements and pictures, you're not exactly the same. So I hope that, I, I, I hope that keeps people out. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to end up in it now. <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've, I've been lucky enough. I, I think, yes, it has happened to me before. It's only ever happened to me once. It's but that is why years. all of my directors are um, moderators for my group page <laughs> because it's like the inevitable is going to happen at some point, you know? I don't know. Maybe and if you create the group for whoever it is, I always make them an admin as well. And that would just be another reason why you make them ad, whether it's the launch part. I mean, definitely if it's a launch party. Um, but I always too, like when people would, like I've always done groups because when you did events, they kind of, you know, people were in the wash, but then you flip it over to their VIP group because all their people are in it. And so if they're an admin too, then they, that, that's just a bonus that if you get put in Facebook jail, they'll still be able to, comment and post at least or moderate it for you if you're texting them and telling them what to do because <laughs> you're in jail. Yeah. yeah for sure let's see does anybody else have any questions <laughs> not all at once I know it's a lot to take in but it it does make life easier once you get used to it and then um, the other part with the credits is the texting template is from when I have a new team member sign up, um, when they enroll, I enroll them and then you can schedule it out if you want to do, um, down the road or whatnot, but it's the same kind of thing. You do the text template, you enroll their phone number and then they get text messages shot out to them so that over it's like a 12 day period that it keeps reminding them, like it gives them training videos to watch. Like they get sent to the OG boss babe channel. Um, some of Rachel Pence's stuff, but it's like, here's like these little things that you could watch in depth and it kind of, yeah. you can still follow up, but then it's still shooting them these reminders. So you're not going, did I message her about this? Did I remind and they get them. And you know, if you, if they want to opt out, you know, if, if somebody is against it, um, then you don't have to enroll them, but it's been really good to keep them on track. And they say, Hey, I watched that training. Here's your question. And I'm like, hallelujah. So, um, you can utilize it that way for team. And then you can also do it for VIPs where you get assigned these numbers and then you can shoot out. It's like the text blast that when they're enrolled, you can go into Visley and you can schedule them out or you can do it in real time and say, Hey, the Marvel collection just launched, you know, order it here. Or, and you can do those aspects too. And so each time a message goes out, it uses one credit. So when you're doing this paid, you know, you have the different options with how many credits. So it depends on, I guess, true VIPs that are getting those alerts. And then, you know, the team members get that training. So there's a ton of options in Visley. So it's well worth the $10 a month. Oh my gosh. I love that just for the sake of being able to contact your downline really quickly like that. Because, yes. you know, we're not all, we don't, Maybe some of us are, I'm speaking for myself. <laughs> we don't all want to be on Facebook all the time. And so yeah. it's hard because as a leader, you want to be able to post to a team page mm -hmm. or a group and say, Hey, just so you know, this is sold out or whatever. Yeah. Um, being able to text people is. That text is a fantastic so option. And then you can do the group, like you can track your team page groups on here. Some, um, like I know Angie Dalton, like she schedules hers just like in the actual group. But if you want to set it up through Visley, you could set it up through there and let it roll out and schedule it, you know, each week as well. So either one, you can do it if you want to do it directly through Facebook or you can do it from Visley and upload it. So you can definitely like track your, all your team groups and things like that. Oh my gosh. There's just so much like, but it's worth the $10. It's like the I, best. I, that's $10 is, I mean, I go to Marshall's and <laughs> you can't go to Marshall's and not spend $10. No, so I'm like, it is, it is well, well worth it. And then, right. um, yeah, so it's, it's, like I said, it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. This has been so good. My team is having like quite the chat over here. You guys are like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready to set up 
all the things with it. I'm super excited. I feel super empowered to try and book online parties now. Is anybody else feeling like that? I'm sure you are. But, yes. One yeah. advice when you do that, it was a great like push to book is that I just messaged, you know, a lot of heavy hitting customers and VIPs and just even then went out, went out for some that have been like liking some stuff, but maybe had, I'm like, Hey, do you want to give this a go? And I just told them, I said, Hey, I've got a new format for an online fun event. It's quick and easy. It's going to be a 30 minute text, you know, or, you know, Facebook where it's scheduled out. I said, it schedules for 30 minutes. So and I'm like, all you have to do, is when I set up the group, you invite them. And it was such a big push that in like in one, like in a two day span, I did five parties. And in that had like almost 2000 PRV just from those and got and like flipped one in it. And I was like, what? And it was like at the end of the month, like it was so random because I was like, man, like I'm kind of behind on my goal, but because I've spent time doing this, I'm like, all right, like who wants to do it? And they're all like, we'll do it. And I, and another factor is saying, do you want, Thursday night, and I gave them the times, and I said, do you want this day, or, and when they said yes, do you want this day or this day, and they're like, okay, perfect, and so I was scheduling them out to try to stagger it, only had two that overlap, but it, it was, it's a great way to say, hey, I've got a new platform to try out, I'm going to give you just a thank you gift on my part, and I gave everybody, um, I used the perpetual party reward for a fragrance flower, and then I wrote in their note, because everybody had a qualifying party, um, and some had, you know, amazing parties, over 500, and I just wrote them a thank you note, thanks for, you know, trying this out, I appreciate your support, thanks for helping my business grow, or some I'd say thanks for making it bloom, and put that in there just for trying it out, and they were like, oh my gosh, I'm like, all right, now refer your friends, and they were just like, so it's a great way to say, hey, I've got a new platform, will you try it? I, I love it. Makes your brain hurt. Got it. No, so good. So y'all let me know how you do with it. So, I mean, I know it's going to be amazing, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. There's so many possibilities. Just make sure you update your pictures, but yeah, for sure. For sure. And pictures of pictures of our kids, pictures of our pets. Yes. The more you can do, the better. And, um, yeah, so thanks for letting me explain that because I we my team gets to hear a lot when they talk about they have me talk about systems within our workless sensations group that we're in and I get on different ones and every time I'm like, all right, front line focus, here's our Anna Hughes system, go watch the video, here's the link, here we go. And we go through all the things in the way, So <laughs> my chance to give back because we share that like crazy. So Well, thank you so much. This has been amazing. Um, so we do a we do a little drawing at the end of our um, meetings. So if you're still with us, drop your name in the comments. Um, Jenny Ledu picked our number for the biggest winner. Ready, set, go. And oh, that's so out. fun when you do that. I love that. It's fun. One, two, Get those three, names. four. We I got a lost count. You guys are all putting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The, the eight is the winner, and that is Vanessa tonight. So, Vanessa, you're our winner of these holiday felts, so you can make your party packs for your new online parties. Yay! I'm actually so super excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> you've been here every it. single Thursday. Like, you've been, like, no, there was Oil one that there was one that I missed, and oh, that okay. was I don't even remember what happened that day. It was such a horrible day. <laughs> yeah, but so, I mean, if you've only missed one, that's pretty dang good since you joined. So I'm um, I'm just you know, trying to use everything I can. Thank you. I will send those off to you. So Yay. thank you guys so much for coming. I love you big. Um, please join us next Thursday. We have Candy Hine coming to talk to us about um, limited time offers collecting pre-orders for those, which is going to be perfect since we're going to be working on um, the Villains Warmer. So that's going to be perfect timing. So I hope you guys come back. Samantha, you're more than welcome to join us next week. If you're around, it is late, but it's also late for Hey, I'm a night owl. So that's when you're like, is it a problem? I'm like, not at all. 12 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. is my thrive prime time. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank um, you for having me. Does anybody else have anything to add before we go? 
No? All right. Oh, well, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. Thanks for coming. <laughs>